this video we're going to talk about statistics and um, using quartiles with data sets. So we're going to take the following data set of test scores and find the median, upper and lower quartiles, and the inner quartile range. So we have our set of test scores here and um, first it asks us to find the median. So let's define that quick. So the median is the middle data point when the data is in numerical order. So in order to find our median, then we need to go ahead and rewrite our test scores in numerical order. So when we do that, I have 78, 81, 85, 85, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 96, 98, and 100. So to find our middlemost data point, we're going to say there are 13 data points. So the seventh point is the median. If we count over seven, we get 91 is our median. So now let's look at our quartiles. And quartiles are simply medians, but they're of the smaller set. So our 91 splits our data set into a um, upper and a lower half of the data. So, for our first quartile, we're going to look at our median of the lower half. So, our lower half has six terms, because we don't count our median in either of the halves. Since it has six terms, the average of the third and fourth term is the median. So if we try to average those two data points, we find our third is an 85 and our fourth is also an 85. So for this one, it's simple and we only have 85 for our first quartile. Now our second quartile, we actually don't have to solve for, because our second quartile is just another way to say the overall median. Our third quartile is just going to be the median of the upper half of the data. So because it is the median of the upper half, has six data points, so therefore we're going to have the third and fourth point of that group is going to um, average out to be our quartile, third quartile.
And in our case, we see that our third point is in 93. Our first, fourth point is in 96. When we average those, So 93 plus 96 divided by 2, we're going to get 94.5 as our third quartile. Now, one way we use these quartiles is to find our inner quartile range. And that is simply the range between Q1 and Q3, between our first and third quartile. So, um, one way we show the, this on the data is using a box and whisker plot. So, we simply draw our box. We're going to have a line in the middle, and that's going to represent where our second quartile is, or our median. This end of the box here is going to be our first quartile point. Right here, we're going to have our third quartile point. So that's our box. Now we have our whiskers. So we have two lines coming out of the top and the bottom. So we're going to have our lowest value here. And our highest data point here. So in our case, we would have a 100 marked at this spot. We'd have our 94.5 here, our 85 here, or excuse me, our 91 here, not 85, 91. 85's here, and down here we'd have our 78. So, this is how you can use um, quartiles to make your box and whisker plots. And that's the video all about quartiles.